Right guys, welcome to Transfer Centre, episode 10 I think. And I want to start off by saying Chris Smalling has been given an extended contract at Man U and it will last until 2016. And I'm pretty happy about that, he's got great potential, he's like the same age as me I think. And he's about, I think he's, yeah, I think he's about 20 or something like that, if, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but he's like, he's a tank man, he's absolutely massive. It's ridiculous and he's on a massive, he's on a bit outstanding, he's on a bit, he's more or less a new rear fern than a bit younger and he'd definitely be in defence for England and I think it w will end up being Smalling and Jones centre backs. I think uh, Gary Cahill who I would have thought would have been in there but he's he's not really breaking through and he's, he's getting older if you, and he's taking so much time to develop and he needs to move away from Bolton really and a few teams have, have want to get him Arsenal one team, Liverpool want to, want to get him but anyway that's different so sticking with Liverpool though, Liverpool are set to sell Jovanovic I think that's how you say it uh, Joe Cole and Konczewski all to, they're all to be sold and I think Cole would be a good player for Newcastle or QPR or some of the new teams, maybe Villa, actually, Villa will be a good team to go through. I'm sure he'll want to be in a team that's sort of set in the Premiership and no matter how bad Villa are, I don't see them going down. The same as Bolton, really. They always, no, they don't always do bad, but they're just always in the Premiership, if you know what I mean. It's hard to explain. Maruch is in talks with Tottenham about a new contract. Which is good news for Tottenham, bad news for everyone else because he's outstanding. But hopefully things get sorted out. I'm sort of getting sick and tired of hearing about this transfer story, and it's more or less in every video I end up talking about Modric. Thiago, I think his name's Thiago, but I've wrote down Mata, but we all know who he is. He's in talks with Arsenal, and earlier he said that he wanted to stay with Inter Milan, and now he's in talks with Arsenal. Footballers are quite annoying really, they sort of never making their mind up on what they want to do, they're always, it seems like a lot of them are after the money, I don't want to say all of them because some players are really passionate and they'll go anywhere, but they're always trying to get more money basically, and I don't really think he's the type of player Arsenal would want. Seems to be starting off quite a big thing going at Arsenal. So I'll move on to Nasri. Obviously, he's in every single bloody video. Nasri's in his last year of his contract at Arsenal, which has sort of sparked fears that next year he's on after. Sorry about that, I started coughing over to start this part of the country. I've got a drink in me now, so it shouldn't happen again. But it sparked fears that Nasri will have to leave on a free next year. And obviously that's bad, you don't want to be losing every, all the money off a player and at the training ground a few days ago Nasri said to Arsene Wenger, said, hopefully I've said that right, I've probably just made myself look like an idiot, but Nasri refused to sign a new contract and I'm quite wor worried that it might start an Arsenal like exodus and everyone will leave and I think why what, if he's willing to sign Nasri why won't, he'll probably end up sending Fabregas and that's two core players in their team that they've lost. Our Shavin, I probably made myself look like an idiot with that one as well, but he hasn't really performed to the level that we all thought he was because, was because he was showing so much so much hype around his transfer and I feel sort of sorry for him because he's like 28 or something and he was sort of found a bit too late, if you know what I mean. And just moving back to the transfers at Menu. O'Shea and with O'Shea and Brown leaving to go to Sunderland it's opened up a hundred and thirty thousand pound a week transfer like gap with John O'Shea being on seventy thousand pound a week and Wes Brown being on sixty thousand pound a week. It's opened up a big gap and it's probably made room for Nasri and then with the hinting at Berbatov going to Inter Milan in a trade for Wesley Schneider with money obviously there's just loads of gaps coming up it's only rumoured the swap with Baratov but I thought I'd let you know anyway 
Um, the last thing now, Chelsea's in talks with Pastore, but Real Madrid are more than likely going to be coming in with an offer. Like they did with Neymar, uh, Chelsea offered 30 million, I think, and Real Madrid just come in with a ridiculous 45 million pound offer. And they just sort of seem to be buying other, all the players so no one else can have them, if you know what I mean. Like, they'll get Pastore, so Chelsea can't have him. They might say that if they were going to go for Nasri, so Manu can't have him or go for Schneider so many you can't have them and um, it's sort of unfair but it's a good tactic if you know what I mean it's hard to explain but that's just the way things are I'm sorry it's mostly been about Man U and a bit about Liverpool and some about Arsenal and Chelsea but not real mu really too much stuff has been happening really except for a load of rumours which I don't really want to tell you too much stuff that more than these like ridiculous rumours like I can't think of one that I've seen um, like he's rumoured of Drogba going to Tottenham and that was pretty ridiculous really and yeah I just didn't want to show you it I didn't want to be the same for everything that's put down on the websites that I use because I know myself a lot of most of them aren't going to ever like, materialise into anything but really worth you knowing about and yeah so I'm sorry that this hasn't been very diverse and I was hoping to bring more news but I wanted to get a video out today I've got a lot of plans coming up with mostly to do with music and I'll let you know about that when I can I really don't know what's going on at the moment I'm waiting for a person to email me back and I've got to do some audition things but I'll let you know anyway so I hope you have a nice day and I'm sorry if this video hasn't been up to scratch my vo voice has been I've been losing my voice I think and I've been watching at least the 100th live stream and I'm always like plugging these live streams and I don't know how many of you actually go and watch them for my video but I'll put the link in the description and go and check it out and just type in the comments at Dave's and it will be really cool so speak to you soon and Hope you all have a nice day. Bye.